Welcome, everybody. Look who we have here. Coop is here. Timberwolves win. What was the final score? 114 to 110 against the Warriors and sweep the Warriors on the season. Also, Warriors are in major trouble with the plan. Uh, we got Coop. You got to like the stream for Coop Timberwolves Daily to be here. Um, and uh, Coop, how are you doing? What have you been up to? Pretty good, man. Yeah, I mean, for anyone that might be in your chat that remembers me at all, I obviously did the Timberwolves daily streams for what, the last two years? Not this year. So, yeah. good to be here. It's my first time talking to a live camera since the Wolves lost in the playoffs last year that I can remember. Maybe I did an off-season stream. I don't know. But, good to be here. Glad to be back. Yeah, I'm working with uh, Dane Moore and Phil Mackey, actually, as well. Just social media stuff for them. Oh, yeah? Nice. So, yeah, and I just decided at least... For now, um, not doing my own Wolves content this year. Maybe it'll come back, but not this year. It was just, it's cool. I, it, it was always enjoyable, but just taking a it's year a off and seeing if I ever come back, you know? <laughs> yeah. Props to you for still doing it, man. I mean, well, finally got I a super fun as, year. Yeah, I didn't do it as long as you did. <laughs> and I mean, me and Ashwin are definitely burning out somewhat, but it's been <laughs> fun. And it definitely helps to have a good team Yeah, and a lot of wins. Um Holy moly, the chat's gone crazy today. Everybody's showing up for Coop. Maybe I'll um, show up on the old channel once in a while. Just, just yeah. stream a while. I think <laughs> you knows? could. I think you definitely could. Um, Crone, with the five gifted, I appreciate Ooh. you. Thank you for the wow. gifted. Yeah, that's another change. We became whatever it's called, affiliates or whatever. Um, and uh, we miss you, Coop. Oh, Coop. oh Noah, Jared. Hello, Coop everybody. The house. <laughs> yeah. oh so nice <laughs> we've got there's a really good core of timberwolves fans that are like original timberwolves daily people now yeah. kind of wolves after dark slash they go over to like mackie they go over to dane they go over to everybody um uh, so it's cool it's cool to see that but yeah i'm glad to be here cool. man. it's gonna be fun well we're gonna talk about what we normally do and uh coop's gonna do his best uh ashwin impression um and yes. <laughs> um we're gonna talk about the game a little bit recap a little bit go into the tier list um and then look forward because the timberwolves now well, i gotta pull it up here we're at 49 wins God, we're so close to 52 and we've got a like, we've got an interesting schedule to finish up the season we our next game isn't until wednesday and it's against detroit um and it's still at home um so that's looking good you're feeling good for quite a few days here but this game um lots of minutes from a lot of guys no Nas Reed in the fourth quarter, I think, for the entire way. Um, yeah. Ant was kind of stinky. Rudy Gobert was kind of stinky. Um, but Kyle Anderson took over in the fourth, which is a crazy thing to come out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, man, it was, uh, it was a great game in the fourth quarter because up to that fourth quarter, it was like, man, this is not fun. And then the beginning of the fourth quarter, we hit a three. It's like 84, 84, brand new game. And then we just like press the gas. Um, did get close at the end though. Um, how are you feeling going into the, the fourth quarter? <laughs> going into the, um, it was just kind of a game that was a bad game, but a scrappy kind of game that you kind of expect between, I don't know if I want to say rivals here, but it's coming. I mean, the Draymond thing, you know. Florida. It was yeah. kind of a rivalry here, especially with the Wolves actually beginning to win against them. For some reason, the Warriors just seemed to hate the Wolves. And I think that showed a lot in how this game was played. It was scrappy. It was weird. And that's just how both teams kind of approached it. So for me, I felt pretty good throughout. I, when they went down 10, I think, in maybe the second quarter, it was kind of like, okay, this might get rough. But no, man, the Warriors couldn't shoot with enough consistency. Both teams were turning the ball over. Couldn't. I mean, it was just... It was honestly bad from both teams, and that's what made it fun. So going into the fourth quarter, I had faith, and uh, I think at the six-minute mark, I tweeted something like, the Warriors don't stand a chance against these Wolves. It almost came back to bite me. Would have been funny, but <laughs> no, it was a good ending. The ending really suited this this game. So shout out to the Wolves. I mean, yeah, some guys didn't play their best, but it all just kind of fit into the style of this overall game, if that makes sense. It does. It does, and it's honestly even more of a gut punch to the Warriors because we sucked yeah. for three quarters, and then just decided to turn it on the fourth barely yeah. and and win a game where they were leading basically the entire way. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, I, you know, typically in games, I'll have a feeling where I'm like, e even if it's early and we're down by 10 or something, you know, I feel like there's still kind of like a general vibe where you have this like, you know what, I feel like we're going to win. I did not necessarily have that tonight. Um, I was pretty nervous yeah. the entire way. It felt like, I mean, just early on, you know, both Clay and Steph were hitting on like everything. Um, and it, it felt like it wasn't going to happen. Ant felt in the second quarter, he kind of turned it on. Um, he had a that, weird one. Still got, yeah, he's, was, he's turned into he, a guy, though, where he, even on his off nights, he'll still put up 23. Like, yeah, for I the know, most part. Yeah. Like, a year ago, he'd have an off night, and it'd be like seven points on three yeah, of 14 yeah. shooting. It was just like, oh, my God. But mm -hmm. even on his off, he's turned into one of those scores where even on his yeah. bad nights, it's you look at the box score and you go, oh, he had 23. So. Yeah, sort of, sort of Kobe like because like Kobe right. would have those nights where he'd be like six of twenty six, but he'd have somehow. But it would be because yeah, yeah. it would be because he got free throws, which Ant doesn't really get that many of. Yet half of his free throws come in the last two seconds of the game, basically. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't got a chance to live talk about how much I love Anthony Edwards this year, so <laughs> there might just be a ton <laughs> of that. But man, I wish he had a little bit better of a game. That last three was a little. A little bit of an eyesore, just that air ball was completely. Crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Quick shout out, Eric. Yeah. I appreciate the five gifted. Thank you, Eric. Gosh, I love that picture, Eric. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, that last three. He has 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Dude. I get it's, I think he just got excited because it was the first time all night where he only had one person on him and he wasn't mm -hmm. being doubled. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot this before the double comes, but like dude we're up like what were we up by at that point we we're up I by four or five no i think it was one possession was it just one because okay. they got a chance to tie i think either but... way <laughs> oh that's right yeah yeah, yeah either yeah. way no i like don't maybe want going that. for some sort of I, I don't remember the exact clock but like a two for either way i don't know some, but... yeah i yeah i think it was under 24 which is the other thing yeah. that was like just just bleed the clock you know yeah. even if you it, like even if it ends up being a turnover which that essentially was just l leave it um or drive drive and try to get a foul or something not that that's probably heat gonna happen three for without him. the heat yeah 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 exactly <laughs> like oh gosh it was good. Was I mean, so... he's, of course we're yeah he, he had a fine night but it was just such a funny moment it was great and they pulled up was... we'd be ripping them if they lost even more oh man. man if they lost <laughs> dude this would have been a very different there would not be smiles on my face i wouldn't have showed uh, up i wasn't gonna show you wouldn't have showed up ghost, we'd have yeah. canceled everything <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh but um no luckily you know the one thing that i guess player of the night and we're gonna get into the tier list here shortly but for me i i mean there's a couple people that probably are close to qualifying for player of the night but for me, it just felt like Naw came to play at the right moment. He just hit like yeah. three threes. What was it? Three? Yeah. And they were like all in a row, close to a row. And it was it was the moment where we needed some scoring because Ant wasn't really bringing it. Conley was okay. Um, Rudy was nothing. Nas wasn't on the floor. So it's just like we needed those shots and Naw just came through. It was perfect timing. I think you're kind of hating on Rudy a little too much today. Finished with 17 on 7 at 10. He did. He yep. was there under the rim. He put had a couple of putbacks. He was, you know, it wasn't crazy, but 17 points, 12 rebounds. Maybe I'm just box score looking, but I thought watching him, he was all right. Um, and defensively, I did like Jaden McDaniels for the most part. Mm -hmm. He's got a terribly hard assignment uh, in this game guarding. Oh, yeah. You know, just kind of going at Steph and Clay, and yes. he did give up that Steph layup, that last layup. He just chased him on the floor and... Someone else probably should have helped him out because Steph is just quicker and yes, better than Jay McDaniels. But he had a I will night, say, I think I, for that layup in particular, I actually had some comments on this. I felt like this was like I was, even though I was not happy that Steph got the layup, I was so pumped that Jaden kind of let it happen instead of like going for a block and fouling and getting the and one because it we we were still going to be up by a point, so no need. Steph had already kind of beat him, yeah. so it's like okay. Maybe just let this happen. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, I, I think, Jaden, you're right. He had, it's a tough assignment for Curry. Curry was on tonight, too. It wasn't like, I mean, like, Jaden had some moments where he did stop him. Um, but, I mean, when you're playing against Steph and he's on, doesn't matter how old he is, doesn't matter what era it is, um, he's, he's going to cook you. <laughs> but back to your Rudy point. Um, 
I do think like he ended with like a respectable night because at the end he was getting some dunks. He was, you know, causing some mis- mismatches and it was it was it was good for us to have him out there in the end. Um but the beginning of the game, I felt like especially I think it was the second and third quarter, he was getting boxed out also draymond i feel like played fantastic tonight for the most part yeah um, really he showed up boxing yeah he showed up rudy he was really you, boxing I, rudy I, out i know <laughs> i know and but he was boxing rudy out like wildly successfully for yeah. quite a bit tonight um but no i i do think in the end i kind of agree rudy got to a respectable point but um in the beginning it's all just the beginning it's such a hard yeah, the, thing the, to the judge whole first half was games. just such a mess they literally had like eight to ten turnovers in the first 14 <laughs> yeah, minutes or something exactly. dude. it was so stupid exactly and they won um yeah let's catch up on some comments before we get into the tier list because yeah. i am way behind by the way everybody no worries about look. time for me either like we're good to just go so perfect i'm gonna aim for what i normally do in 45 minutes which will mean i'll probably be an hour and a half um well uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. um but um let's see hope ruby uh ruby rudy's ribs don't get worse and keep him out he was clutching at them late in the game which was not fun um oh we do have a comment here a super chat a Ooh. yellow super chat king dave hi guys long time watcher but first time watching live um, I know we have a lot of people that watch us after the live. It's kind of interesting. Um, oh. I, I recently moved from San Francisco to Minnesota. I get the local broadcast, and I cannot believe the good things the Warriors announcer have to say about us. Interesting. Yeah, I was obviously watching Bally. Um, you know, this is kind of an embarrassing thing to say. I used to really like the Warriors announcers. <laughs> um, really? Dude, I, 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 was like, I mute them. Yeah, I was a big fan. And then it was like after after their first championship, their tone and everything just changed, and it was very like sickening to listen to. I will say, now they're coming, they're getting a little bit of taste of like what it's like to be bad again because they're mm. almost five hundred now. And this year, I was listening to a couple of their games last week, and I was like, they're a little bit more humble now. <laughs> um, yeah, they better be, but yeah, so they're a little bit better. So that's good to hear. Thank you for the super chat, King Dave. I appreciate it, and thanks for being a long time watcher, first time live um yeah draymond is a scrub <laughs> thank you ryan crazy no support from me for draymond Demo hey, daily me. says hi guys <laughs> <laughs> um i'm sorry coop after i saw that pass off the backboard i'm scared for like i must have I missed that remember i don't remember this. okay I, I don't remember that at all or i just um, erased it you know just I'm good at that too. Only yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Okay, well, maybe let's jump into the tier list. Um, I think it's time. We're going to talk. That's we're talking about specific players, anyways. But yeah, may as well get into this. Pretty much. Any new okay. categories this year? I guess I haven't seen. In a yes, while. you are here at a very exciting time in Wolves After Dark lore. Okay, so A one still there, obviously. Um, a1 is an unforgettably good game. Like, you'll never forget it. It's the best. Okay, um, gotcha. You're going to tell your children someday about it. So, like, think the highest of the high. Um, Cash <laughs> is, like, a really good game. It's kind of another out for, like, if a, be- a player that maybe hasn't shot well, shot really well in a game, you can kind of give him cash. Mm, okay. Um, but it's also, it's kind of just, like, just a little bit better than A. Like, it's, like, a super exciting game or something yeah. like that. A is the same. I mean, A is kind of the same. B is kind of the I same. Yeah. Um, meh, meh. Meh yeah. is our new, my new favorite one. Uh, great favorite way to get D-Lo. out of it. Everyone knows I love D-Lo. D-Lo <laughs> still on there. Wancho still on there. However, we have had some cries yeah. from the crowd to change that to Shake Milton tier again. Um, no. <laughs> he was, he was, he wasn't bad. He was just kind of there. He was there, but he was bad. He was um, bad bottoms because of grady's call where he calls it bottoms um we're not a huge fan of that call and uh so bottoms is like you were really 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 bad oh yeah so like he says cash he He says says, bottoms he says bottoms i know you're gonna have to next time you hear a game it's gonna ruin your experience (laughs) no we still love grady we still love grady but that bottoms call is definitely an interesting one um and then Glenn Taylor is like, you've been bad for so long that like 
there's no reason in talking about you. Like you should yeah, just be on the guy. team. So, which I don't think we have anybody right now. Um, but Draymond, Draymond. <laughs> if we had a Draymond face, we would put him in there. Fair. All right, that's um, all I needed. But we don't. So, fearless time. We will start with we're and I don't know. We might not do like Baby Mac only shot once tonight. It was a three. It was good. No, get him I mean, in there. Could, he had a big three. Put him at put him at somewhere. We'll put him A or B. Maybe for that. Yeah, it was a great a. shot. Yeah, come on. It, it was a great shot. Also, I have the utmost confidence in any shot that he takes now. Exactly. Like, it's it's an honorary A today. Yeah, <laughs> honorary A. <laughs> Coop said so. Take it up with Coop if you have a problem. Um, exactly. The big boy says Shake was worse than Wancho. <laughs> yeah, but Wancho was in an era of sh- like just disgusting Timberwolves basketball, and like that era needs its own square. I think that maybe you I could mean, add Shake, is... but I think you got to keep Wancho. Wancho is very satisfying to say, so I love <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Um, somebody See, it's called all about it, like, the era. Yeah, yeah, they're like it's it's a Wanch, and I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. <laughs> um, how everybody's saying. Disco Wolf saying uh, Grady highlights <laughs> got up and shows violence. Um, okay. We're going to do, because Disco Wolf said so, we're going to do Nas Reed, Nas Reed, Nas Reed. Like the stream if you like Nas Reed. Um, that's an easy way to get likes. Yeah, um, nice, nice, good job. <laughs> Nas Reed played 28 minutes tonight. Everybody get your grades in for Nas Reed, by the way. Um I don't think he played in the fourth. I don't have the quarter numbers At up. At least not but the I, last half for sure. Yeah, it was not the last half, and Kyle stayed out there for a very long time, um, which was maybe okay. Um, but Nas was 7 of 11 tonight, 6 of 8 from 3, had 12 rebounds and 20 points. Uh, he did have 6 turnovers, but I don't know if they were all necessarily something that should be attributed to him. I can't remember. I don't feel like I remembered 6 Nas turnovers. Um, and he made up for him for the most part. And, if he, they were. and he made up for them, yes. Um, let's see. What do we got? Some grades. We've got Nas's cash. Somebody says B plus, cash, um, A1. Shout out to the towels, by the way. That towel scene oh at Target God, Center dude. was insane. Ugh, like I wanted to go, but I, wish I, I could space it out, man. It sucks. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, Nas save it, saved our ass in the first. He certainly did. He was our only offense for such a long time. Cash, cash, A, cash, cash. I'm ready. You're ready? What's your oh, grade? Yeah. I'm going cash. It, he, it was going kind cash. of, I was good thinking about A, but that first quarter, I still don't really know what cash means, but I'm going to use it for myself. <laughs> he, he, had I think a, it's... he had a cash first half, and that's, yes. that's good. That's good to me. I, <laughs> I agree. I think it was cash for Nas. Um, this is, I mean, he had such a good first half. And yeah. I guess, like, in my head, I do kind of think that it's an A, but that's that's based off of Finch not playing it. Because if he would have played in the fourth. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we, what, if we that's have why three more threes. Cash. I think I'm actually, yeah. in my mind, A is, like, a little bit more of a, a, a round, round yeah. grade where Cash is like, he shot the ball real well. So He did, yes. This is, this is a good game. It's not his fault that he didn't play in the fourth quarter. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it was the turnovers. Maybe it was defense on. Um, who was, Kyle who just was played guarding? well. I think it was. Yeah, Kyle was okay. Like, and we and it was working. They also didn't take. They didn't put Ant in until like the six minute mark. So kind of weird, different lineup combinations that Finch was doing. So Nas is cash. Anyways, yeah. I also I have. I don't know. Did you ever have Anthony Hollis join your streams? Was he no? in here right now? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen him, but he's been counting me down when I do these grades. So he'll be counting down from 45 seconds. I don't remember. Uh, I don't want to say no in case like he was, but I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, he's been counting down. So hopefully he's not counting down because I feel like I'm yapping. Uh, but uh, Nas is cash. Great game tonight by Nas. Um, next up, everybody get your grades in. Let's do the other N A W. Um, nah, let's do it. That was pretty good. The <laughs> other N A W. Um, n- nah, 21, oh, yeah. only 21 minutes. Um, four of seven, three of five from three, um, 11 points, two assists. That's about it. But he was a plus 12, highest on the team. Everybody get your grades in. Let's see. Comrade isn't in tonight. That's right. He was making a bunch of Russia jokes the other night. Um, <laughs> we had a Russian theme stream the other day. That's um, awesome. Um, let's see. Hollis is the teacher that says Bueller, Bueller. 
Um, <laughs> Weedo One says Cash Lecky member. Appreciate you for being a member. Says Nas Cash. Also member Disco Wolf. Salute Vegas. What? Oh yeah, for the okay. Nog gets an A if not a cashola. Oh, solid A. Nah, cash or A, not A. What are you thinking, Coop? I'm going A. Um, for his role too, like you know, yeah. he's not gonna ever be a 30, 35 per night type of guy, but he gets twenty two minutes in plus twelve and makes shots when the wolves desperately needed him. That's an A performance, absolutely. Plus twelve. I mean, I said plus twelve, but yeah, defensively solid too. So, hundred percent A. I am I'm in agreements with you. I I do I I'm like kind of close to giving him cash just because he was shooting so well, but it, it just was only three shots. You know, it's not like yeah. It was like some I think his game crazy. like all around was solid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, it was a good game. Um, but I do think it's probably A is more appropriate than cash because Nas was cash. I mean, that's different for so. sure. All right, the person that we were just talking about in regards to Nas. Kyle Anderson played 25 minutes. He was three of nine. I thought he shot better than that. Three of Same. nine. I just saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, four or five from the line. Had six rebounds, five assists, two steals, a block, and ended up with 10 points. Everybody get your grades in for Kyle Anderson, who at one point tonight um, turned on the boosters so fast that he missed a layup. <laughs> um, but, and somebody in the Discord said... <laughs> His, uh, what did they say? His body was there before his brain or something like that. Um, <laughs> but, or vice versa, I don't remember. Um, Kyle had an interesting night. Um, let's see, should have had six more free throw attempts. Um, somebody says Johnny two times. Um, Gerald in the Discord says we owe him. And that is actually not a lie because Gerald said he turned off the he turned off the game so that we could win. And then immediately after that, the fourth quarter started and we went on our crazy run. So this is Gerald. Hey Gerald. Uh, yeah. Gerald. Um Anderson B Cash. Disco Wolf, are you high? Um FJD, FJD are you high? <laughs> um <laughs> Crone, you should have heard the Dubs fans talk about how they wanted to get Nas before he signed the extension. Oh, yeah. I bet they did. Oh, they, bet be everybody. Nasty. they have no money. They have no money. So they're never doing that. Um, before his mind. Okay, thank you, Mark. Um, B for Anderson. I know I've been having you go first a lot. I'm going to go first this time. Maybe this is unfair, but I kind of think it's a B. Yeah, I'm with you. I thought you were okay. going to say something blasphemous there. No, no, no. no. It's a lot of Joe. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't bad. It um and FJD says yes, he is high. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like a bad night. I mean, he didn't shoot well. Um, but he yeah. was a part of that fourth quarter. Huh? Yeah, it's rare that I'm gonna judge a Kyle Anderson game based on how well he shoots. I guess if that, yeah, I you, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I don't expect much from him there. But yeah, no, he got it done late, and it was he was solid throughout. Good enough. He, Finchy played him over Nas for an entire quarter, so and it worked out. It worked, yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of like where I am. It worked. I don't really care. I'll take it. So um, <laughs> yeah, if that means Kyle plays, then whatever. Also, Kyle's been a part of some like late runs against um, the Warriors because he was a part of that one steal against Draymond that led to the uh, the uh, Cat Three that won the game. But hmm. anyway, yeah, that's right. Um, good game from Kyle. Appreciate you, Kyle, and. Uh, we are on to who do we have left? I think it's probably just Ant, Rudy, Jaden. Yeah, I guess Monte Morris too. We could do Monte. Well, do you, do you have like a minute mark that guys have to hit? They usually throw them in, or is it just like a play it by ear? It's definitely a feel kind of a thing. Um, right. Eleven, like we we did we did J Mac. Yeah, but that was is, just me throwing him at the wall. That was Monte <laughs> played seventeen minutes, so it wasn't like. It was we could talk about him. I've Nuh. got almost nothing to say about him, but we could talk about him. I know, him. yeah. We'll be quick on Monte. He was three of six, two of four from three, had eight points, and he had that lob to Rudy. Like, I think yeah, this is a really seven. solid game. Like, yeah, like I got nothing bad to say about him. He played, he's, I don't either. He was good. I think I'll go first again. I'm kind of thinking B. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Like, Oh, for what his expectations are, maybe you could talk about an A almost, but like, yeah, it was just a solid Monte Morris game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go B because B's B's like what expectations maybe a little bit above expectations, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, like he yeah. he beat expectations, but it also wasn't like something crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go B. 
I think that's where it is. Chat has some disagreements. Monte had big time moments. Hey, he did have big time moments because he did have that three. He did have that lob. Monte was solid tonight. Monte A for sure. He was an A. A Come solid on. B. Come on. That one three felt big. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh man. Going off, yeah, and Disco Wolf actually is doing based off of expectations. We probably didn't. Okay, chat is going a crazy. Yeah, well, right they're now. not on the screen, are they? I'm they kidding. aren't. We're playing God right now. Um, oh, he did block CP3 too. However, I think that was actually a foul. <laughs> did they call it a foul? I don't remember. They did not call it a foul, so it then was it's a block. not a foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> chat overrule. Chat overrule. All right, right, all right. We'll Fine. give him an A. Today. He's the bottom of A, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Now, oh, yeah. And then, oh, yeah. Bite Bite, too. We got to do Bite Bite, which nobody calls him Bite Bite anymore. Uh, it makes yeah, me I wonder, wonder if there's it's some a horrible new nickname. Oh, my God. PR term, <laughs> like PR people coming out for him. Um, but um, let's do, let's, speaking of Bite Bite, let's do Minnesota Mike. That's the new thing that everybody's saying. That's it's better than Bite Bite. Okay. Um, I kind of, I didn't hate Bite Bite, even though it made no sense. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. it's just oh, fun to man. say. Um, Mike Conley, Minnesota Mike, uh, um, money Mike, 30 minutes, money Mike, uh, five of 12, three of seven from three. Um, uh, had where is he? 14 points, seven assists, four steals, um, and two turnovers. So that's kind of that's kind of a high game for him, turnover wise, but that's I mean, that's fine. Um, kind of an interesting game. I don't even know what I what I think, but um what do you think yeah. Ooh, it's he was good like he wasn't bad by any means he was actually really solid i'm i'm fighting between a and b in my mind right now like he was in sense he didn't have the most efficient night but for three he did go three of seven so like pretty good and again like i've said with i think at least three of these guys like they showed up late when it mattered because like we yeah. talked about at the beginning the first half was a mess for pretty much everyone except for nas reed so mm -hmm. uh I think I'm going to go A. He was really important in that fourth quarter, helping the Wolves get that win. So I'm going to go A. Leave Kyle Anderson down there all alone and beat. I know that feels kind of mean, but I feel <laughs> like they were huge. Oreo says Ghost says they were all huge steals. Yeah, By the way, steals shout too. out yep. DJ Mad Mardigan in the chat from Target Center. DJ Mad Mar Mardigan. Oh. Welcome. I've seen you on Twitter a little bit. I appreciate you stopping by. W DJ that? Man Mardigan. Um let's see. What is everybody saying for Mike? All of his steals. Yeah, everybody's saying A. A. Okay. We'll do we got it. a bunch Minnesota of homers Mike. in the chat. Yeah, what are you guys? Timberwolves fans or something? Get out of here. I did put a requirement to have subscribed to the channel for three minutes before commenting so that we didn't get okay or not smart. OKC. Um Warriors fans. But smart, smart. Um, <laughs> or bots. Yeah, or bots, that too. Yeah. And if they're bots, I need I need them to subscribe. Which by the way, <laughs> if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, subscribe for Coop. Coop committed to streaming every yeah. rest of the game here on Wolves After Dark for the rest of the season in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, he definitely did contract not voids at about 10 p.m. tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> um clappiness. You're right. We do round up for wins. I like that. And yeah, the lab appearance. Um <laughs> okay. Let's do let's do Jaden. I feel like that's maybe probably going to be like the most boring one. Um, the I mean, big boy in the chat is kind of kind of going at us right now. Oh see yeah, tearflation is true. Tearflation. We talked about it in the State of the Union the other day. Um, the, the game was trash for thirty six minutes. How is our whole team a tier? <laughs> <laughs> hey, because I don't want to hear anything. It's all about the fourth quarter, all right? Everyone was freaking horrible for the first three quarters. So it's all about how did they win it in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Fourth quarter performances. Yep. That's we, why. We had, a, we had a new game. Um, my mods are turning against me. What is this? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yes. We will move on to Jaden. Jaden, again, the stat line almost means nothing because it's just like a defensive night for him. Uh, but three of eight, two. Uh, he did have two threes, and the three, him hitting threes is huge. We need that. Um, but eight points. Um, he did have four personal fouls. Again, he's guarding Steph. You know, this is gonna happen. So um, it's it's just gonna happen. Four rebounds, 
Um, no steals or no blocks. Um, he did have pretty good defense. I, I didn't think it was like anything super outstanding, yeah. uh, but it also wasn't. It was certainly like it was notable. Like it was good, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll go so B DJ. for Jaden. Yeah, yeah. I, it wasn't enough offensively for sure to go A. So yeah, it exactly. did enough to the, get in B for me. The threes are getting me excited, though. I will say I am very yeah. excited about these threes. Um, DJ Mad Martigan, thanks for the shout out. I love what y'all have been doing. Be sick to give uh, get on your show sometime and talk about the music and energy at Target Center. DJ Mad Martigan, this is an official invite. You are welcome. We're trying to get all the guests on the show while Ashwin is out. <laughs> Ash, by the way, Ashwin's been out for like a month. Uh, but <laughs> actually, he was here just a couple days ago. But he's very busy with all of his stuff. But um, yes, DJ Mad Martigan, you're welcome to join whenever. Um, if you want to stick around for a whole show sometime, do the tier list. You're more than welcome. If you just want to do a segment, you can do that too. Reach out to me on Twitter. I think we follow each other. Um, cool. Who's up next? Let's do... We're going to save Ant for last. Let's do Rudy, the one that you liked and I uh, wasn't uh, necessarily... This is this is the one that we might disagree on maybe a little bit. We'll see. I don't know. Um, I, I just had to... You were tearing down a little too much. I just <laughs> had to lift him back up a little. He wasn't great, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, Rudy, he played 37 minutes, um, second most out of anybody. Only player that played more was Ant, which is kind of weird because Ant sat so much in the fourth quarter. Weird. Anyways, um, he was 7 of 10, um, 17 points, 12 rebounds, uh, one block tonight. I thought he had no blocks tonight. Um, did have four turnovers. Him and Nas combined for 10 turnovers. That's insane. I can't believe that. Um, I can believe his turnovers more than I can believe Nas's, though. Um and then five personal fouls. I didn't realize how close he was to fouling out, too. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think of Rudy tonight. I I'm all over the place. <laughs> he um, was fine. Like, I've said it a, few, a couple of times. He was, he was, he was good. Um, not great by any means. He did enough. He, those two clutch free throws late were very important. But That was huge, yeah. I mean, he, when he got the ball in, like, the entire first half, it just was horrific, almost. Like, just so bad to watch. Second half, he did make up for it. Most of it was just um, at the rim, as it should be with him. I don't want him ever doing anything except slamming a dunk, pretty much. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, for me, I'd give him a B, um, just because he did meet expectations overall for me in those 37 minutes. He shot 70%, you know, made those free throws. Solid mm -hmm. enough defense, and I liked his, his rebounding today, so... I'm going B, and uh, got no regrets about it. It looks like the chat agrees with you. I was going to go lower, and then I saw PL's comment, and I'm like, okay, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I do have to ignore the rest of the game <laughs> for Rudy and just pretend like it was the fourth quarter. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the only thing I'll say, I think we will go with a B, but I, I think early game, we were having conversations in the discord by the way shout out the discord um we do live chats during the game that are very active now um they used to like a year ago they used to be like me and ashwin and maybe one other person <laughs> uh or maybe a couple there was a couple um but now we have a lot of people so that's fun join the discord um but he early it was like i, I was thinking delo at points even like we were kind of getting close there was moments where i was like man no way we're going to consider wancho for him tonight uh, but there were moments where he was like actively taking away from the team um and as jj says ban the uh ban the push shot yeah dane loves the push shot i think that early in the season it was working and what dane moore was saying was correct because like it was going in um yeah but now i'd be cool if he just never did anything except dunk that would be fine I, by me I think that's what I'm rooting for. I'm almost more so rooting for him to because there's times where he has like the Draymond Green esque like wide open three, and it's like you know oh what? My God, you I'd shoot give those. Anything. Yes, you shoot <laughs> those in warm ups. Like let's just try it. Let loose. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am. Um, I just said I only want dunks, but if he can, <laughs> I I would give anything for a Rudy Gobert Timberwolves three pointer. Oh my God. I I can't believe it has not happened this season yet with how many wins we have and how many like pointless moments where he could have just launched a three. Um, it's got to happen. Maybe he's waiting until it's like truly like we've locked up top four or something like that. Um, but man, my mods meet expectations or met expectations. B, listen, the inflation listen, is here. <laughs> listen, they won the game and I've got fourth quarter blinders on. All right. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> I definitely do too. 
Um, I, I I do think though that like those those uh, fourth quarter free throws are worth something, and I do think it was a generally meets expectation. I mean, I don't even know. Like this is kind of this is kind of off the rails because I don't even know if this is a meets expectations game from Rudy. It's kind of maybe below expectations. The stats might just um, look better than he actually played. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember him scoring seventeen points to be honest with you. Um, so maybe this is all a lie. But do I have um, that wrong? Like he did score. Se- yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah. He did. He's would have been 17. embarrassing if I was just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rudy is a man. <laughs> only but Matt just sounds so bad. That's why I'm not doing it. If it was yeah. like, he, I don't know. I'm just getting into semantics now. Let's go to the next guy. <laughs> yeah, Rudy three would be his Pat Bev t-shirt gun moment. Yes, yep. it would. Um, okay. Can we talk about 21 from 40 from three? Says King Dave. Um. Did we really? Wow. We did. We shot yeah. over 50% from three. I mean, that's, that's what it's what should be expected every game. All right. Yeah. Never go below always... that. Ring your hand and get angry. Exactly. We almost got two RB sandwiches for that. That's pretty crazy. Uh, by the way, L Wiggins for not missing two free throws in the beginning of the first, the fourth quarter to give people Chick-fil-A. Um, thought we had it. Thought we had the Chick-fil-A, but no. Um, all right, Mr. Seattle. Yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, expectation for Rudy is double double 13 13. Basically. Yeah. Honestly. Thank you again, Dave, for the super chat. Um, Eric says, I agree. Would be uh would be if he shot a three and made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I read that all crazy. Um okay. Well, everybody, guess who's up last? I'm really not excited to see your grades for this. Um, Anthony Edwards, passionate comments being had in the Discord about his game tonight. Um, you haters, you haters, haters. <laughs> um, Anthony Edwards, 37 minutes, played the most minutes out of everybody tonight, even with that long fourth quarter break. Um, he was seven of 18, four of eight from three. That's good. Five of eight from the line, uh, eight assists. Some amazing assists, by the way. Um, six rebounds, 23 points, only two turnovers, um, and only one personal foul. That's pretty good. He didn't really take on too many. I mean, he tried to, but take on some defensive assignments at times, but they just kept switching off of him. Um, Coop, I'm going to let you go first before I do anything about chat or myself. What do you put Anthony Edwards in? Part of me wants to say D-Lo just because that last shot he took was the most D-Lo, that D-Lo was... thing I've ever seen in the history of Crazy. D-Lo. But yeah. I'm still, you know, I've, I've rid myself of the D-Lo demons that plagued me for the last couple of years. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be one to bring up D-Lo, all right? So, <laughs> so I'm going to go meh for Anthony Edwards. He was fine. Seven of 18 is not great. I mean, he did bring in six rebounds, eight assists. Like, it's always good when he can do mm-hmm. something with those other stats for the moment. And he's been much better at that this entire year, of course. But I don't know, man, the five of eight free throws, even missing one at the end. Like he did hit the two yeah. in a row, but it got weird. And he just like everyone, when we're talking about everyone else that just rose up in the fourth quarter, he, yeah. it's not like he was terrible, but he, he just kind of was the same throughout the whole game. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go meh with, you know, leaning lower almost. Yeah. I'm kind of with you. Um, chat is everywhere. Dayon Davis says B. Crone says B. David Peterson says B. We had a lot of Bs in the beginning. Jeez. Um, All right. FJD, I love, love Anthony Edwards, and I still say meh, especially with that last shot. Yes, that was a crazy last shot. Godfrey says B. Big Boy says C. Well, JJ says D. I'm amazed you didn't say bottoms. I thought you were going to say bottoms. Um, we've got meh. Meh. Cool with meh. Wow. Hey, there's Anthony Hollis. The less hey. we can get by with, though I still wish he were sitting, the better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. The assists, I think, do save him, PL. I think you're right. I think I am going to go meh. Because, again, I didn't say this at the beginning, but this is based off of what we expect from a player. Um and this was pretty close to what I expect. I mean, I, I honestly probably expect a little bit more, like a little bit better efficiency, um, a little bit more like fire, especially late. Um, we didn't really have that. He had a little bit of that in the second quarter. Um, that was about it. Um, 
that play at the end is seriously head scratching, and I guess I'm glad that he's learning in a loss. But that was crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, it was not a, it was not necessarily a super fun ant game. The second quarter was fun, but other than that, I mean, I did not have a fantastic time. So I think meh is okay. We have high expectations for ant, um, and this was maybe the only. <laughs> this was like, I mean, this is the only player that like exactly was either close to their expectations or a little bit less. So I'm with that. That was crazy. Look at that. And I guess we do have Finch on here. I don't, I I don't really have any thoughts on. I'm so like, I I hate (laughs) talking coaches. I don't know, man. Like (laughs) it's tricky. I mean, cause there's so much based on how the results are. I, I still, I will stick by my stance that I do not think he should be coach of the year because he's had, there's been too many like weird blunders throughout the season for me to like, think that that's the case. Uh, of course, he's turned around the franchise, and part of that's due to just all the talent that we have on the team. But part of that's due to his coaching and style, um, and how he co- holds people accountable. Because that's off the court, you know, that's a lot of off the court stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I just, I uh, yeah, the Twitter, the fire fans really in here, dude. Come on, were you part yeah, of that? that were was... you part of that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Probably. <laughs> um, I probably was too. What, who am I kidding? <laughs> I don't think I was. I was never like full throated like Fire Finch. But because right. I, it, you just, even if it is not working at this point for Carl Anthony Towns' sanity, he cannot have an eighth coach in his 10th year or whatever he's in. Like, this Bring can't happen. Nori. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, for the chat, how is, or uh, wait, what is people, what are people saying? They want him in bottoms. Bottoms. Let's finish that bad. Put them in there. Let's put someone in bottoms. Why not? I can do that. I can only do it if you guys like the stream, though. We got to get to at least fifty wins or fifty likes. Um, we got to get to as many likes as we have wins on the season, which is forty nine right now. Gosh, okay, one just one away from fifty. That's exciting. You said they played um, Detroit I, on Wednesday. We do play Detroit on Wednesday. I'm going to share another tab here. Look at this. Oh my! We're God. going crazy. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit because it's kind of nuts. There we go. And let me refresh this. I don't know if it's been refreshed. I don't think it has been. Yeah, it has not been. Um, still got 48 wins. We won tonight. Um, we are, this is the playoff odds. There's a high likelihood that the Timberwolves end up being the three seed. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we are standings wise right now. Standings wise right now. Um, we still have a chance at the one or two seed. I mean, we're only like a game, game and a half back. Um, but we're going to have to keep winning. And you're right. Yeah, we do play Detroit. Um, let me take a look at that schedule. I don't know if I, I can't bring it up. I don't know what it is, but I'll say it out loud. We've got two days off. We're still at home. Then we play Detroit on Wednesday. Then we travel to Denver to play the Nuggets on Friday. That's a tricky one. Um, Bulls at home on on next Sunday. And then we start April with the Rockets and the Raptors. Um, the Rockets are suddenly becoming a powerhouse. And by the way, if my math is correct, they may only be a half game back from the 10th seed now that we beat the Warriors today. Um, let me see here. They are oh, they they're a full right. game back. Okay. They're one That's game back. Good, though. So they're going to have a lot to play for when they play us, probably. Um, Wolves are going to lose one of those games that you read. I don't know which one, but one yeah i i mean i i feel right now that denver is they're just fully healthy uh, well they actually they did not play murray and Jokic last night against the trailblazers which doesn't really matter but um but um if if they are healthy if everybody is healthy then i i imagine it would be them that we lose to uh, it's at denver um i don't know we're also still not like perfectly healthy so it's yeah it's a little tricky but yeah. yes. Look at that. Shea bottoms. Wow. Look right at that. 45 and minutes too. Look at the timing. That's impressive. Oh my goodness. That was impressive. Um cool. Well, um before I let you go and let everybody go, one, everybody like the stream. We're at 49 likes. We wow. did it. Um I don't 49 think I likes. And I'm- yeah, like now Ooh, we're at 50. You're welcome. Yes, we're the 50, <laughs> 50 likes. I love it. If you're joining us on Twitter, join us on YouTube. I think it's a better experience, honestly. Twitter's kind of crazy. Um, Screw Twitter. Screw also, if you're on Twitter, it. seriously, um, <laughs> in agreements, <laughs> Anthony Hollis is call- counting me down again. 
Um, but um, <laughs> if you're on Twitter, leave a comment right now. I want to make sure. I want to prove that you're real and not Elon bots. Um, so leave a comment if you're on Twitter. Um, but before you leave, Coop, I have a couple questions for you. I'm putting you on the spot. They're uh -oh. all Wolves-related questions. Um, but um, where do you think the Timberwolves end up by the end of the season? Do you think we end strong and finish closer to one or two? Do you think we stay the same at three? Do you think we slip and go to the four? Where are you thinking? Um, I'm going to say... It's so tough just with injuries and everything. The regular season at this point means so little as long as I get the top four to me. But I'll say... I'll say two. I think they could finish strong, finish second. But if as long as they're top four, I don't really care. One or two would be nice, but yeah, you know, they're gonna make yep. it to the playoffs. It's all about what happens at that point. Exactly. Yeah, I. That's all I really care about. I just want to make sure that we've clinched the playoffs. Um, and we have basically. I mean, it, technically, we have not. I was just gonna try to pull that up because. Or I won't pull it up on stream because it's really crazy looking on stream. But um, like our magic number, basically. Um, where is it? Da -da -da um, let's go here. Magic numbers. So this is not updated since they haven't updated since 1 a.m. this morning. Um, but so our our magic number to clinch an actual playoff series is five. So if we win five more games, no matter what, we're at minimum at minimum the sixth seed. Uh, but again, we're gonna. I mean. Teams are going to lose too. So if a team loses, that means that we can. Yeah. They'll you know, finish top four for sure, right? I mean, yeah. I think top four is the only thing I'm scared about because I bought plane tickets home to Minnesota specifically only for the first two games of the series if it were at home. So if they are not home court advantage, they'll get it. They'll get it. Yeah. So I'm nervous personally, but. So you got a lot um, riding on these games. That's pretty fun, though. I do have a lot riding on these games, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think, I mean, at this point, it seems like it's just going to happen. I don't think we really have to worry about that too much. Yeah, um, the likelihood that they finish top four, if not even closer to like top three or top two, yeah. um, is more likely to happen. Um, final question for you. Um, and it's okay if you don't really know the answer to this, because honestly, I'm kind of up in the air right now. But if you had to choose out of the teams that are close to like the – the six, seven, eight spots or something like that. Like right now, the most likely teams, I'll read it off in order. We're 26% the most likely team that we are to face in the playoffs right now, based on strength of schedule and where people are currently, is the Kings at 26%. Um, then it's the Mavericks at 24%, the Suns at 20%, and then the Pelicans at 11 I don't think the Pelicans is going to happen. I think this website's broken about the Pelicans today. Um, between, I guess, those three teams, the Kings, Mavericks, and Suns, who would you most like to play and least like to play? Um, I think I'd most like to play. This might be insane, but it might be the Suns. I don't know. Wow. I think their style of play is the style that the Wolves can best go up against. They're just, I don't, you know, not not specifically, but a lot of ISO offensive play with Booker and Durant, and the Wolves have guys for that. They got Durant, we got Jaden McDaniels. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean... It's, I mean, it could. It's not ideal, but it, it is a lot of just matching up. And yeah, yeah I mean, Beal, Booker, Durant. I mean, we'll see, man. That's I, interesting. There, There's not a good. The thing is, there's not like a, a matchup like in usual years where you look at the 7 8 season and go, oh, yeah. great. It's the Timberwolves like teams have in the past, maybe. You know, you're looking at actual good teams in those slots. The Mavs, maybe the Mavericks to me have just always been weirdly inconsistent and, you know, I know Kyrie is great in the playoffs, but I, I don't know. It's it's tough. My whole take on the playoffs is I think whoever the Wolves play in the first round, I do think they're going to win in the first round. I think they're going okay. to be a, a tough second round exit team this year. I That's don't know why. Hope. Just the vibes yeah. I've been getting. But mm -hmm. yeah, they're going to win the first round if it's against Phoenix, Mavericks, Kings. Honestly, I think they whoever they play of those three, they would beat in yeah. six games or so so i'm looking forward to that and then second round i don't know someone's gonna someone's gonna yeah it's hard we can't have it that hard good to yet. know you know i'm trying to get really giga brain with this which is maybe not smart um but um oh mark says we will go out somewhere if not true if they don't make top four we're going someplace and maybe even if they do make top four one of the games we can go meet someplace um but do it for the wolves camp do what for them um <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about oh they, um, they do it for cam 
wolves. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Giga Brain. So I think, I mean, everybody's saying the Kings, but the Kings, we just saw, they can go crazy. Kings are and nasty, they're just, man. Yeah. If they just hit all their shots, if Malik Monk plays basketball, it's over for us, you know, because he just, he just goes Rudy crazy. could just shut down Sabonis, I guess, but <laughs> he could, he could. And I, I mean, realistically, sure, the Kings are probably like on paper the best matchup for us. It probably makes the most sense. Um, and they have not been great this year. You know, they have, they have struggled at times. Um, the Mavericks too. I mean, we've shown that we can guard both uh, Luca and um, Kyrie. There was that play from, I think either early this season or last season where it was Jaden and Ant guarding them. And it was like, wow, look at the future of our defensive stars. That was last year. Um, I streamed after it. Oh yeah. That was super awesome. That was a super mm-hmm. exciting play. Uh, the Suns I'm scared about, but also they have not looked super strong either. But like you said, I think it's best like, Everybody this year is going to be tricky. Everybody in the West is good. You know, if the Lakers make it, they could be a tough team to play for a one seed or a, eight, a two seed. For me, the giga brain part, <laughs> what I'm hoping for, which there's nothing, I mean, there, you can't even, there's nothing you can do, especially as a fan to make this happen, even as a Timberwolves to make this happen. I really want the Thunder to end up either the two or the three and us to be the two or the three. I don't want to be the one because I want us to be in the same, like, semi bracket as them because if they move on to the second round i feel very confident playing the thunder in the second round really and oh yeah i feel yeah. super confident yeah. last year we beat them in the play-in pretty easily it's been a good series this year um and they're certainly better they have a they have a lot of shooting but i think that they're a beatable team i would I if agree. i had to choose anybody in the west to play in the first round of the playoffs i think i'd probably choose the thunder yeah, I would choose the Trailblazers. <laughs> oh well, yeah, okay. I see. <laughs> I would no, prob- no, well no. actually we almost blew a 40 point lead to the Trailblazers. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to play anybody. Let's just move on by week for the first round of the playoffs. Um no. I think I, I want the Giga Brain. I want it to be like the Thunder, the Timberwolves as the two three, and then as like the six, what would it be then? It's the six seven. Then I want it to be like the Kings and the Mavericks or something. Like I think that's a super easy um, path to getting to the second round or even third. You know, like moving further. Um, but uh, yeah, it. I, you don't want to be in the same bracket as the Nuggets. You don't want to be in the same bracket as the Pelicans right now. They're kind of scary. Um, and I don't necessarily like if the Lakers or the Warriors got hot at the end of the season. I don't necessarily want to be with them either. So. Um, yeah. Anyways. Cool. Don't yeah. ever utter super easy. <laughs> um, that is true. Giga brain, Giga Brian and Mega Brain. What Mega Mind? Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what a great way to end the show. Um, awesome. Well, Coop, it was great to have you here. Um, People can check you out on Twitter. Where else do you want them to check you out? Just Twitter at Coop Carlson. You, you yeah. might like my tweets. You might. It's a lot of just football rambling. I love. I'm, I'm. I'm just. I've always been obsessed with the NFL and uh, Twitter. Follow me at your own risk. It's just nonsense and stupidity. And yeah, at Coop Carlson if you want. But yeah, yeah. I guess you could subscribe to Timberwolves Daily. You're not going to be getting anything. Yeah. But... <laughs> subscribe to Timberwolves Daily. Why not? Might maybe well. someday. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe after the season, I'll pop on for a while or playoffs. I don't know. We'll you know, see. one thing that we we can do, I I sent the link that I sent you actually allows you to be able to stream wherever you want to be able to stream too. So you could technically we could be stream. I could be streaming Wolves After Dark, and you could be streaming the Timberwolves Daily at the same exact time. Ooh, um, that'd be fun. That'd be that'd be, that'd be something we try. All right, we'll try. Um, next time. Anyways, well, Dust you're welcome comments. back anytime. I'd love to have you back on the show here before the end of the season or at the end of the season too uh yeah. so we'll chat get our schedule worked out because my schedule is kind of crazy too but um cool well everybody w coop in chat <laughs> for joining wolves after dark um i appreciate you all for tuning in like the video on your way out we're only three wins away from 52 wins um intro as the outro oops i want to take nice. this banner off first Intro is the outro. We will see you guys Wednesday night. See ya. Bye. Thanks, Coop. <laughs>